and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. Our course, A Sheath Dress with a Dolman Sleeve in 10 Days, is completed, and we've made a course, How to Make a Basic Dress. I present to you my author's course, Basic Sheath Dress. You'll learn how to make the pieces of the dress and the lining, learn how to make a set in sleeve, how to attach the lining to the garment, and to make the dress look perfect. Our training course consists of 17 lessons. Register by the link down below this video. Don't be afraid. You will succeed because we will be with you all the time. We'll be happy to see you at our online course. Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. Today we have Susanna with us. Hello, and we have a review of a finished outfit we've been making in our videos. As usual, I'd like to let Susanna talk about the magnificent outfit her mom made for her. Well, I was the one to choose the outfit. It was supposed to be beige at first. But then we decided to go for pink, because mom had fabric for the skirt. We chose fabric for the skirt with lace. It's a very beautiful, airy outfit. Who thought of this model? My mom suggested, I chose. I looked in Pinterest, it's an app. I sent her some designs I liked. And she showed me what we can do based on them. It's a very beautiful, airy outfit. I suggest we look closer at the details and nuances of it. The designing lesson was called a blouse for, from textured fabric with square yoke. First I want to talk about the fabric. It's a synthetic one, but it's of nice quality and pleasant to touch. I've already said multiple times that synthetic fabric has many advantages in carrying, wearing, washing and ironing. It doesn't tear like silk or stretch or shrink. Plenty of advantages as you can see, especially if it's used for fancy outfits that you would wear for a trip to another city. You can easily pack it in your suitcase. How did you carry it, the outfit, by the way? I just packed it in the back and didn't even have to iron either blouse or skirt. The skirt is made from synthetic crepe uh, of the best quality. I'd like to remind you that in our fabric boutique you can find crepe of different patterns and its quality is perfect. So you can remember it. And in case you want to uh, style a skirt like this, it was a short commercial break. We're back to Susanne's outfit. We're starting from the top. Don't forget that the bow is separate decorative element. Fitted ties it perfectly. This is all one scarf that was tied in two layers. We also have here a very beautiful handmade accessory, a flower made from chiffon. The blouse itself has a collar stand. I'll try to give you a better look. Susanna's earrings are very gorgeous, aren't they? A double square yoke, turn it a bit to the camera. We sewed everything together in our channel. Look how perfect it fits. After fitting, we didn't make any significant changes. We sewed the sleeve together with you too. We showed how to design it so that the lower part was more fancy, puffy, luxurious and royal than the front part. Here is the cuff with the button matching the color of the pearl. And the pearl matches the pink color of the blouse. I think it's a genuine pearl. There is lace on cuffs and also on the top of the blouse and we sewed scallops into the yoke. We sewed lace right into the seam between the yoke and the main part of the front and back blocks. Only after that we stitched the yoke itself. The lace was very wide, we cut the excesses and used scallops for other things. And Sveta has some... Susanna, spin a little, please. And Sveta has some left to make something from it. I'm sure she will. Since the lace is wide, the two scallops by both sides, we needed two times less fabric length than the lace is. On the one hand, white lace is quite expensive, but on the other hand, it's cheaper than buying just scallops. 
And we have the middle part left and uh, can use it in some other decorative work. I really love this outfit and it's one piece placket, buttons and buttonholes. It's an elegant look. Such puffy top is emphasized by a skirt with a triangular shaped high waist. It's not just a triangle, but it looks like an overlap. A semicircle line goes on one side from the side seam, and the bottom part seems to end up under it. But of course, it's not an overlap, it's just a semicircle princess line that isn't there only for decorative function. The princess line turns into a high slit so it would be more comfortable to walk in such tight skirt. <laughs> At the designing lesson, Svetlana explained that it can be hard to fit a skirt to Susanna's figure because of a big difference between waist and hip size. For that we need to make a lot of darts. We made two darts on each side of the waist and also several here in the center. And also we had to make them in the center of the back. So in total we have, don't forget about the side darts, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 12 darts in total on the skirt. I think the outfit turned out very gorgeous. We can combine it, I think we can, the skirt with another blouse. The blouse can be combined with another bottom based on what Susanna wants to show. You can leave the bow at home and it will be an everyday look. I really like the way you look in it, you're so pretty and I think you're very grateful to your mother for putting so much effort into it. You can admire Susanna forever, but still we have to ask her change to show how the clothes are made in detail on the table. Let's look at them on the table, how they are made, what you should pay attention to when making them. Of course, I want to say first that the difference in fabric texture makes it look interesting. You'd think the color is the same, but look, we have 10 delays, has a thread lighter than the rest of it. And there are different shades of pink. You see, it's partially see-through here, a matte part and a textured fabric. Both combine amazing different textures. We also have a flower from textured silk. Look how beautiful it looks when put together. We also have a matte crepe. The crepe is different too. The combination is beautiful. And if you plan to make an outfit in one color, then it's great. If you combine two, three, four fabric of different texture and the same color, and the outfit won't look boring. The blouse. It has its nuances. I'll start with the color. Since the fabric is textured and synthetic, the inner side of the neckline stand and the cuff are made from lining that the skirt has. It's a natural lining, so there is no discomfort to the neck. Of course, it's more pleasant to touch. The same goes for cuffs. The neck, the collar, the cuffs, wherever the garment is tied on the body, it has smooth natural lining. And it's great. The neckline stand and the cuffs have a very thin German flizzolini as fusible interlining. Yoke doesn't have any interlining. There was an idea to put interfacing so it won't stretch as much. Use a net. We do that sometimes, but we decided it wouldn't be too much, though the net would be fine too, but in no way there should be any interfacing or something sewn to it. It wouldn't done the net one-to-one, -one. it would secure the fabric in place, 
but we decided it would be better for Susanna without it, just a partially see-through blouse. I'll put my hand here. If we put anything under it, the color will change, because it's seen through. And then the yoke wouldn't have been a different color compared to the rest of the blouse. That will be strange. We also use this very thin flizzolini for the button stand. And here's something interesting we have on the button stand. Look, here's the button stand. The buttons are until the waistline, and the two buttons at the bottom. There is something flat so that they won't be seen from under the skirt. This skirt was planned to be worn with this skirt, maybe with a different skirt or f with trousers, but still it's to be put under the bottom, so it won't be under clothes. That's why we left the salvage. It won't get damaged. But if we will make some kind of hem here, the crepe will pressure it. An unusual outfit. You won't see it in a shop, but you can see it on Susanna. If you can say about anything that it sits perfectly, then it's about this skirt, because the physique is perfect, the skirt fits perfectly, and there's nothing to seek on it. That's why it all looks so wonderful. Let's take a look at the yoke. There's lace sewn around it. We didn't really sew anything to the edge of the lace, so it isn't rough enough. Just folded the edge. And we thought it um, out the way the edge is the highest point of the lace. And there's the scallops is. And then it goes down. Here we have a small back stitch done by hand. The lace is sewn into the square yoke and stitched. Here how it looks from the wrong side. We even planned, or rather Svetlana Alexandrovna planned, to cover it with a thin French lace. But as you remember, we were making this almost in a hurry, so we didn't have time for that. But I think it's very beautiful as it is. It's time to move from the blouse to the skirt. The skirt is done like a classic skirt with lining. The lining is just the same as the skirt. The skirt doesn't have a vent because we have a slit that leaves space for movement. The slit lets the leg move freely without any slits. It will be impossible to move in such a narrow skirt. It's all done the way skirts with lining are done. There is no belt because the skirt is high-waisted and it fits perfectly. Well, for those who don't have the body type Susanna has, you can put in, in some boning. Like with the skirt we've made in our club. But the method is a bit different. There we had a corset-like belt. Sometimes we need to sew the bone into the lining here, and it will allow the skirt to sit perfectly too. But Susanna has such a thin waist that any boning isn't needed at all. I'll turn the skirt inside out now. You see all the darts. And also, while Susanna danced in this skirt, she ripped the slit a little. I'll show you how we had secured it. Here, look. We used lining here to sew the slit and additionally secured a knot here so that the skirt wouldn't tear anymore. There also must be a detached lining by the side seams. I'll show it. And where the side seams are, there should be thread secure in it. It's about 2 to 3 centimeters. We use it so that the lining won't show out of the slit. If it wasn't for it, the lining could have been seen. 
but we secured it, so there is no way the liner will be seen. Of course, the main thing uh, is to adorn this uh, with this beautiful flower from a textured fabric. I want to once again look at the scarf. We didn't want the scarf to have messy folds, uh, but it will have folds in any case. So in the middle of the scarf, we ourselves made folds so it will fold beautifully. Both ends are loose and can be tied. That's it for today's video. Did you like this wonderful dreamy pink look? Let us know in the comments. Of course, we want to say thank you to Svetlana Alexandrovna and Susanna for participating. It was the Global Fashion Workshop channel. All the best from Olga Pauchte, Susanna and the rest of our team. Subscribe to our channel, like and comment. Until next time, bye!